Welcome back. I'm Jacob Russo. The NAIA football semifinals are here. After weeks of action, it's come down to two GPAC teams in the semis, Morningside and Northwestern. The Mustangs beat the Red Raiders when these two played earlier in the year, but this is a rivalry game, so you never know what's going to happen. Morningside looking for three straight title game appearances. Northwestern looking for their first since 1984. After Northwestern strikes first with a field goal, Morningside strikes back. Anthony Sims, he punches it in. The PAT makes it 7-3. Mustangs. But the Raiders respond. Tyson Coima to his running back, Connor McQuillan. Wide open for six. Missed extra point, and it's 9 7 Northwestern. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anthony Sims again on the ground. The 24 yard tutty puts Morningside up 14 to 9. And in the second quarter, Sims does it again. Another rushing score from him. He had a great first half. Red Raiders, though, looking to strike back. Coima. No one is open, so he takes it in himself, untouched for the touchdown, and it's 21 to 16. Morningside at the goal line, quarterback Joe Dolinchek on the QB sneak gets the Mustangs their fourth rushing score of the game. Miss PAT makes it 27 16, but before the half is done, Northwestern responds. Koima getting it done with his feet again. The rushing score makes it 27 23 at the break. Second half, the Mustangs come out strong. Dolinchek, another QB sneak, another rushing score to put his team up two scores. Red Raiders, though, once again, they have a response. This time on defense, check out the hit. And then the force fumble. Brett Mosier picks up the loose ball and takes it the distance. Touchdown, Northwestern. And it's a five-point game. After trading touchdowns in the fourth, Morningside going for it on fourth down in the red zone. But the Raiders, they stuff the sneak attempt and get the ball back. Down five with under two to go. And Tyson Coima makes it happen. Going deep, looking for Michael Story. Yes! Touchdown. Northwestern does it. The upset over the one seed. They win it 44 to 41. It feels amazing, man. We've worked so hard in the offseason and in this spring. I'm just so proud of the team, proud of the coaches. They put us in the position to win the game, and we got it done. It felt so good. I'm just glad our O-line did their job, held up, and gave Tyson a good good throw. He could just throw up and let a, someone go make a play. I can't tell you how much I love our guys. Like We just kept talking, even at halftime. Like We just want to score at the end of the game. When the clock hits zero, that's all we're concerned about. We had so many guys just battling through today with the heat. I mean, I'm so proud of our guys. I, I can't tell you how much I love this group.